Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shadow Prisco, coming to you from right here in where else but St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Friday, September the 25th. Nobody has informed me that I have been off date, off day. Uh, yesterday, I said Tuesday, September the 24th. Does that calculate? No, because there is no such thing as a Tuesday, September the 24th, 2020. Which is not right, because somebody, some of you out there, somebody should have noticed that I was calling the wrong day, the wrong day of the week, or the date I was saying, but nobody told me. And then I just looked at it today, and I was like, wait a minute. When I said Wednesday, September the 25th, it's been like, okay, how many days have I been off? Because today is actually Friday, September the 25th, and nobody told me. But anyway, it's straightened out now, so I should be back on the correct corresponding days of the week to match the days of the year, okay? So anyway, today is... Friday, September the 25th, 2020, and that means I've got uh, no birthdays to talk about, but I do have Shinsho likes, and uh, the Shinsho likes are going out to Don Rhodes, Steve Clary, Leone, Pereza, Fernandez, Martin Kelly, Alan Adams, Rick Adams, and uh, Ashley Briscoe, Sherry Briscoe, Marianne Briscoe, and Tina Cleeshulte Ashbrook. And also, um, how about Amanda Sue Little? Now, not only does Amanda Sue Little get a shout out for being a Facebook, a Shen Show like person, but she's also a Facebook poke uh, friend of mine. She is one of my pokey pals. And not only that, I'd like to think a special thanks goes out to. Tina Cleeshulte uh, Ashbrook and Marianne Briscoe and Ashley Briscoe for sharing the Shin Show because if it doesn't get shared, I just kind of sit here and stare at myself talking to me. And I love for everybody out there in the world to be able to see me and see the show. You know what I'm saying? All right. And somebody from around the world somewhere should have been able to figure that out before I did, but that's okay. I'm okay with it as long as you're okay with it. Now then, how about let's do some local weather? And well, let's bring our local weather to you today by Papa John's Pizza. None other than Papa John's Pizza. You know, when I go to Papa John's or have it delivered, when I have my Papa John's Pizza delivered, I usually go with the works pizza and the reason i go with the works pizza is because it's got everything i like the black olives the mushrooms the pepperonis the sausage oh man mm -mm -mm. the sauce and the cheese and the oh and i usually get it on the thin crust and that's because well it's easier for me to eat and um right now i don't get to have that most delicious treat because i'm toothless which I will get straightened out. Right, Whitney? We'll get that all together, won't we? Yes, sir, we will. All right, anyway. That being said, yes, sir. I like that Papa John's pizza. Because, well, as that Papa John's pizza goes through their oven, it gets all those flavors just marinating together. That's right. The pepperoni and the sausage and the hamburger and the black olives and the mushrooms mm, 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 mm. and when it comes out on the other side well they slip it in a box and they cut it all up in the design pattern that i requested and they ship it on out to me and boy 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 do i like to dig on in but that's not all they ship out to me when i order papa john's i also get the hot wings oh Yes, my friends. Hot wings, you just can't wait to get a hold of them. They melt in your mouth, or they melt your mouth, whichever comes first. 
And I myself like the uh, tasty dippings of the uh, ranch dressing. Of course, they do provide you with other dippings like uh, honey and uh, 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 blue cheese and all kinds of different dipping sauces. But I'm a big ranch fan, ran, uh, big ranch fan myself. So anyway, after I've eaten those hot wings, well, throat's a little warm. So what do I like to do? I like to follow it down with a nice ice cold Pepsi Cola. That's right, you get the chug a lug and the burning sensation of that Pepsi Cola just a cooling down that throat. And why not wrap it all up with a very tasty brownie? Yes, sir, they've got the chocolate chip brownie that's a moist morsel to just sink in your throat just as smooth as smooth can be. What a dessert. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, let's bring you right up to the St. Charles local weather. And well, right now out there, it's 75 degrees, clear skies, but dark. Um, ah, mm. And so the rest of the forecast is going to go something like this. Temperatures are going to go ahead and drop down to 61 degrees later on tonight. And, uh, well, we're going to have clear skies overnight with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But that will let way for tomorrow. Mainly sunny skies with highs around 87 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be south to southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour somewhere in there. Then clear skies overnight with lows around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And I will be maybe get me a chance to get outside on Sunday. Uh, the reason beings is because Sunday is going to be sunshine and a few mixed clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Highs are going to be up around 84 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But the real rain chances are coming in Sunday night. That's right, cloudy with uh, periods of rain. Lows near 55 degrees Fahrenheit with wind north to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, chances of that type are 70% chance of rain. And that rainfall could be near up to an inch. So, be prepared for your flash flooding, folks. Uh, then Monday... Mostly cloudy skies with highs only getting up to around 66 degrees Fahrenheit with winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then Monday night, partly cloudy skies with lows around 48 degrees Fahrenheit and winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Tuesday, September the 29th, mostly sunny skies, highs around 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then some clouds early will give way to a generally clear skies overnight. Conditions are going to be uh, low temperatures around 48 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be light and variable west to southwest at approximately 5 miles per hour. And then Wednesday, September the 30th, sunny skies, highs around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be west to northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies with lows around 49 degrees overnight, and winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your local five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area, which brings us which was brought to us by Papa John's Pizza. That's right, you call up your neighborhood Papa John's Pizza and have one delivered out to you right now. All righty then. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Let's see what's going on in the magnificent town of St. Charles, Missouri. Actually, it's not going to be what's going on right now. Uh, because it won't be until this weekend. But what we do have going on is out over there by, um, out there, out there, over there by, um, to do, to do, to do, uh, not Festus, 
it's the Daniel Boone Renaissance, or not Renaissance, but the the death of Daniel Boone's bicentennial, and that is um, out in Defiance. That's where I was looking for Defiance, Missouri, and well, the, at the Daniel Boone home, of course, the historical Daniel Boone home at Lindenwood Park in Defiance, Missouri. That's 1868 Highway F, Defiance, Missouri. They're going to be running that on September the 26th. That would be uh, tomorrow, Saturday, at 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Now, it is a free event, and it's going to mark the 200th anniversary of Daniel Boone's death. Now, join the Parks Department in commemorating the life of one of America's greatest frontiersmen. To honor Daniel's memory, the site will host an event offering demonstrations that represent Daniel and the Boone family, such as land surveying, black powder shoots, woodworking, fiber making, and more. Meet Daniel and Rebecca Boone and listen to the couple recall tales of their past. Presentations from renowned Boone scholars Mr. Ted Franklin Bellew and Ken Kemper will be offered at specific times of the day. Bellew is a retired professor from Morey State University and author of books such as The Hunters of Kentucky and The Long Hunt. Ken Kemper holds uh, historian positions for the Boone Dunan historical society and the Boone Society and so therefore you should um, all come out to the Daniel Boone home located at uh, 1868 Highway F Defiance Missouri right here and just remember it's free admission so then the Renaissance Festival that's right the Renaissance Festival is going on out there at uh, Winsville Yes, sir, Bob. The Renaissance Festival, St. Louis Renaissance Festival, that is. But, of course, it's out on this side of the river because, well, we're the better. We're the greatest. Anyway, St. Charles, uh, reoccurring weekly on Saturdays and Sundays. Last weekend was the beginning of it. And, uh, well, we started then and we're kicking on now. From 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. located where else but Rotary Park. That's Saturday and Sunday. Rotary Park is located at 2577 West Meyer Road, Winsville, Missouri, 6385. 6385. Okay, now uh, the St. Louis Renaissance Festival is a long standing event that brings you the adventures, excitement, and spirit of the Renaissance. Travel back in time, if you will, as you step into the beautifully wooded 16th century French village of Petit Leon. Thrill to the exploits of jousting knights on thundering steeds. Roam the village shops for unique crafts as our artisans demonstrate period skills like blacksmithing and woodworking. Delight in the comedy, music, magic, and more on our nine stages of non-stop entertainment. Feast on delicious foods and drinks from the far reaches of the earth. And the and interact with the colorful villagers, the nobles, the peasants, and the characters of the great pages past. And there is truly something for everyone at the St. Louis Renaissance Festival. Out in Winsville at Rotary Park, 2577 Westmire Road, Winsville, Missouri. Alrighty, let's see what else is going on. One more thing that I know of, and that would be the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market works out every weekend um, on Saturday, recurring from June, started back in June on the 6th, and will be running through October 24th. And where, you ask, is it located at? Well, it's located on the Foundry Art um, center parking lot 
at 500 North Riverside Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. So, you know, reoccurring, get out there from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. to the Farmer's Market. In uh, St. Charles, Farmer's Market is operated by the St. Charles Lions Club and offers produce, baked goods, jams, eggs, soap, and much, much more. So go ahead and come on out to the Farmer's Market here in St. Charles, Missouri, located at the Foundry Arts Center, 500 North Riverside Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. From 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., a recurring on Saturdays. Alrighty, now then, let's see what's next. Oh, how about a song? A song, guh. How about song lyrics to all the girls I've loved before? A little bit of water just to wet the whistle so that we can get this song out. Okay, here we go. To all the girls I've loved before Who've traveled in and out my door I'm glad they came along I dedicate this song To all the girls I've loved before To all the girls I've once caressed And may I say I've held the best for helping me to grow I owe a lot I know to all the girls I've loved before the winds of change are always blowing and every time I try to stay the winds of change continued blowing and they just carried me away to all the girls who shared my life, who now are someone else's wife. I'm glad they came along. I dedicate this song to all the girls I've loved before. To all the girls who've cared for me, who filled my nights with ecstasy. They live within my heart, I always will be part of all the girls I've loved before. The winds of change are blowing, and every time I've tried to stay, the winds of change continue blowing, and they've just carried me away to all the girls I've loved before. Who've traveled in and out my door. I'm glad they came along. I dedicate this song to all the girls I've loved before. To all the girls I've loved before. Who've traveled in and out our doors. We dedicate this song. We're glad they came along. And to all the girls we've loved before. All right. Oh, one, a more, a whole song. I'll be singing uh, one more song. And let's do um song lyrics, the Wabash Cannonball. Oh, we're going to do it. From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore. From the queen of flowing mountains to the south of the bell of the shore. She's a mighty tall and handsome and known quite well by all. She's the combination on the Wabash Cannonball. She came from down from Birmingham one cold December day. As she rolled into the station, you could hear the people say, There's a girl from Tennessee, she's long and she is tall. She came from down from Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. 
our ears and states are dandy, so all the people say. From New York to St. Louis and Chicago, by the way. From the hills of Minnesota, where the rippling waters flow. No charges can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Here's Daddy Claxon, may his name forever stand, and always be remembered round the courts of Alabama. His earthly race is over, and the curtains around him fall. We'll carry home to victory on the Wabash Cannonball. So uh, listen to the jingle, the jangle, and the roar. Uh, as she glides along the woodlands, through the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engine where hear the whole lonesome hobos call. You're traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. I said, oh, listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar. As she glides along the woodlands, through the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engines, hear the lonesome hobo's call. You're uh, traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Alrighty then, looks like it's story time for the kids. And today I think I picked out Pinocchio. You know who Pinocchio is? He's the little puppet boy. Long ago, an old carpenter named Geppetto carved a puppet in the shape of a boy, and he named it Pinocchio. He wished that the boy to be a real one. And well, a fairy had heard his words and fulfilled his wish. She added life to the puppet, but he, she wanted that if he was to be a real boy, he must always be a good boy. Well, Geppetto, he loved him dearly, but Pinocchio was quite naughty and rarely spoke the truth. As soon as he lied, his wooden nose would grow long. He always promised to be good, but uh, from the next time, he would forget. And he would soon forget his word, and then left school one day with his friends to join a circus. Now, he began to miss Geppetto, and one day he heard that his father had been swallowed up by a huge whale. Well, he immediately went to find the whale, and the whale swallowed him up as well. Inside the whale's belly, Pinocchio and Geppetto were so happy to see each other, and they made a plan to get out and begin and began tickling the whale's stomach. And as soon as the whale opened his mouth and sneezed, Pinocchio and Geppetto slipped out. They reached home safely. The fairy was so pleased with Pinocchio's bravery that she turned him into a real flesh-and-blood boy. From that day on, he was a very good boy and never missed school. The father and son lived happily ever after. Boy, talking about a short version of the story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It certainly were. <laughs> All right, hey, that's it. Uh, let's move on to our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. Now, Our Daily Bread is going to be brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading is going to be Song of Songs 6 through 8 and Galatians 4. So, don't forget to tune in to The Bible with Briscoe 2020. All right, hey, uh, let's see. The devotion of the day is Love Locks. And the uh, insight in scripture to go along with Love Locks is Songs of Songs 8, 5 through 7. 
What are love locks? Well, we're about to find out. The friend. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Who is this coming up from the wilderness? Leaning on her beloved. Under the apple tree I roused you. There your mother conceived you. There she, who was in labor, gave you birth. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, and rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. And there you have it. That is Love Locks. Alrighty, hey, that does it for me. That's the end of the Shen Show for today. And, well... I guess I'm going to have to sing one more song for you, and that would be, oh, Well, goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. Oh, I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Prisco saying hello and how are you. Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show, and as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I, so be blessed, and come back and see me tomorrow, because, well, hey, I'll be here, and I hope that you are, too.